Hi guys and dolls! Today I'm going to be sharing with you my iMats experience. This was the first iMats I ever attended so I'm super excited and I might get a little rambly so I do apologize. For those of you who don't know what iMats is, I know when I just say it, it sounds like iMax, like the theaters. It's I-M-A-T-S, International Makeup Artist Trade Show, iMats. So yeah, I know that's kind of confusing, so hopefully that clears things up. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, an event that's been around for years. It's run by the Key Publishing Group and Makeup Artist Magazine. And it's basically, a, it's a convention for makeup. It's it's a trade show for makeup. Uh, you can go and buy makeup. You can, uh, you know, see products that haven't even been launched to the public yet. Uh, almost everything's at a discount, but not everything is actually at a discount. Just keep that in mind. It's always a good idea to ask when you get to a booth. Uh, there are seminars, there are classes, there are competitions, it's just like makeup headquarters, it's amazing. They do it in several different countries throughout the world, so, you know, if you can't make it to the one that they do in LA, uh, there's ones in, uh, Toronto and Vancouver, there's one in London and one in Sydney and also in New York, so they do it several different places, so hopefully there's one near you that you can go to. The one that happens in LA is apparently the big one, and I'm so fortunate that it happens in my home state, but over the years of watching people go to IMAS and stuff, I've never been able to go because I couldn't get the time off work or, you know, just things just wouldn't work out. We actually got to go this year and it was so amazing. Like, I can't even think of a word to describe it. It was humbling. It was uh, eye-opening. It was... It kind of recharged my batteries in terms of makeup. It got me excited about makeup again. Uh, and honestly, probably the best part for me was actually meeting all of you. Um, obviously, I didn't meet all of you, but those of you who I did meet that I got to speak to, hug, uh, take a picture with, there are no words to describe how amazing that feels and how humbling of an experience that is because when I make a video, you know, it's just me talking to my camera in my room and you know, even though I get comments back from you guys, it's days after I've made the video, it's not an open conversation the way that it is one-on-one. -on -one. And, uh, you know, to actually have someone in front of you, you know, telling you that they use this tip that you made a video for, and they're like, look, I just did it, you know, amazing. Seriously, meeting you guys was the highlight of my trip. The second highlight of my trip was the girls that I spent time with. Uh, I for sure knew I was going to be hanging out with Sukalim79, Heather. If you're not subscribed to her channel, you definitely should. She has this kind of edgy, sort of gothic alternative style that I know a lot of you would really, really like, and her hair is to die for. Uh, so I will go ahead and link you to her channel in the down bar. Uh, for about, I guess, five months prior to going to IMATS, she and I were constantly texting and stuff, making sure that we booked our hotel at the same place and all that kind of stuff. Uh, she's from Canada and I had never, I haven't even been to LA, well I mean obviously I just went two weeks ago, but prior to that it had been over ten years since I'd been in LA. And she'd gone to a few of these iMats, and plus I just think she rocks. So I was so happy to like have her as like my partner in crime for this whole thing. It's like someone to go to iMats with, because it's not really the kind of thing you'd want to go to by yourself. Unfortunately, most of my friends aren't really that into makeup, and probably they wouldn't want to go to iMats, so... It was cool to have like a makeup buddy friend and she also knew some of the people because she's gone to these iMats before and so she knew some other people and we ended up all bonding together and it was so amazing and I knew um, Bethany from my one to see one video and that uh, Angie from Goldie Sterling were going to be there and so I knew it was going to be you know rooting for them in the next face awards but I didn't think I was going to get to hang out with them as much as I did and it was fantastic and we bonded and you know it was just it was just not to get all misty eyed, but you know, it, it really was special. I miss my friend. I do have quite a bit of um, photos to show you guys. I have photos of, you know, people that I met. Um, like I met V Neil, I met Glenn Hetrick, I met RJ from Face Off. Um, I met like, you know, Petra Lude and X Sparkage and Queen of Blending, like, oh my god, and Tiffany D. Um, so I have photos of like that kind of thing. And then I also have pictures that I had you guys send to me that we took together. So I wanted to include them in this video. Um, that's one of the reasons why this video is so late. So I hope that you guys enjoy the footage and when that's over, I'll kind of walk you through some of the photos. All right, so we are here. Look 
at these lashes. Oh my gosh. Eyelash had been. Look at this. It just keeps going. Alright guys, so we are in line for the Nick Space Awards. We're gonna go watch Angie and Bethany. Um, <laughs> what? You're just like looking at her. She's just like giving this weird look. So I'm like talking to like, myself. I was like, I was like staring off and then you start looking at me and I was like, what are you actually looking at me? I was actually looking at you because I'm like, wait, what are we doing? <laughs> We're standing in line for Angie and exactly. Bethany, but uh there are people everywhere. Here's Heather. And my, and we're holding spots. And we're getting ready. We're getting ready. And who's going to win? Angie or Bethany? Angie, yeah, Angie or Bethany. We're rooting for them both. She started her YouTube channel six years ago simply to watch one video. But two years later, she's creating videos for her fans with that one YouTube alias. She's a self-taught freelance makeup artist on her spare time. Hello, Bethany. Welcome to the finals. So tell us, during your journey, what inspired you? I was inspired by makeup artists who think outside of the box. Makeup artists who have a natural born talent like my friend Bill, who really inspires me, worked got a job, ran away from home, worked at a job at a cosmetic counter, and just blew up from there and found his natural talent, which all of us are trying to do, so I hope to one day make it big, just like it. Aww. Oh, contestant number six, Angela Davis, a.k.a. Goldie Starling on YouTube. do now is talk about my experience chronologically while I show you guys the photos. What I'm talking about doesn't necessarily correlate with what the photos are. I just want, you know, the video to not be 30 minutes long. So I'm just going to talk kind of over them. So the first thing that we did when we got to LA is we went out to dinner with a bunch of girls that I was talking about earlier that I miss my buds. And it was just such a great experience. I hung out a lot with Dawn, uh, whose blog is Makeup by Siren. Mai, whose blog is a portrait of Mai. I hung out a lot with Mandy of Pretty Making, of course Heather Suglum79, uh, Angie of Goldie Starling, Bethany of I Wanted to See One Video, and her sister Becca, and then also my husband because, you know, of course he was along for the ride, I wasn't going to leave him at home. And it was great because Dom was like into comic books and so was my husband, so he had like 
a dude chick to hang out with, if that makes sense. So that was really cool. That worked out really well. I also met up with Jessica of Beauty Design or Beauty Zine. I'm not sure how she pronounces it. And uh, Stacy Brennan, who I was so excited to meet. I was like, oh my god, Stacy Brennan, I love your blue hair, just saying. But yeah, so we met up and I was just so completely overwhelmed with the convention. It's huge, like beyond huge. And <laughs> like there's just people everywhere and I get really uncomfortable in crowds. Um, but luckily, actually, subscribers kept coming up to me, which actually made me feel more comfortable. I don't know, it made me feel like, oh, alright, it's not a bunch of, like, scary strangers. These are friendly makeup people. I don't know why. It just made me feel more at ease. I feel like you never really have enough time at IMATS. I was constantly... Um, trying to talk to people and also try to look at products and I feel like uh, you know and it's not anyone's fault or anything it just it's then it's the nature of the beast but I feel like I wish I had had more time to play with products because I really wanted to check out things that I'd never seen before and so I wanted to feel and play and touch with the products and I feel like next year I need to like make it make a list of everything I want to check out and then check them off the list. There is so much to look at. There's the booths and then there's also of course uh, people doing makeup for competitions and things like that. So there's all kinds of really cool special effects makeup, body painting, all kinds of really neat stuff and I feel like I didn't get enough footage or pictures of those so I'm definitely putting that on my list next year to get more photos and footage of that kind of thing. After IMADS there was actually an event for Beautylish. They were having like like a cupcake like come meet us like mixer kind of thing and uh, me and my little group we all went to that but a couple minutes after we were there Heather started coming down with a really bad migraine and I suffer from them as well and I know what that's like and then on top of that I was so overwhelmed by everything it was just like like I can't even describe how I was feeling it was just overwhelmed is the best way to describe it. So she and I went ahead and went home and then a couple hours later there was actually a party for Sigma. They were launching their new brow expert, beauty expert, I don't know what the name of the thing is. but so They had a party and it was great. I went and I spent most of the night hanging out with Juliana of Makeup Delight 2009. It was great because we've watched each other's videos for years and it was so great to like talk to her and hug her and you know all that good stuff. And then while I was there I also got to meet uh, Tiffany D of Makeup by Tiffany D and it was amazing because I love her videos and it was so awesome because I was totally fangirling like oh my god you're up by Tiffany D can I get a picture with you like totally weird and then she was like yeah can I get one too and I about died uh, <laughs> so yeah that's my little fangirl ness for you also I totally fangirled over uh, X Park and she was the first beauty guru I ever watched on YouTube so meeting her was like unreal and when I think when I walked up to her, I said something really dorky like, oh my god, you're so pretty. And then I'm like, oh my god, did I not just fangirl like a total dork? And then she was just cracking up because I obviously sounded like, a, like an idiot or something. But anyway. The second day of IMATS, my only like agenda was like buying things and going to the NYX Face Awards to see Angie and Bethany compete. Unfortunately, neither of one of them won. I was really disappointed, but I think they did such a great job and I'm still really proud of them for, you know, being part of the competition and everything, but I was I was disappointed that they didn't win. Really focused the rest of that day on trying different products and it was really fun to makeup shop with people who were also into makeup. Again, most of my friends aren't that into makeup, they don't really understand my passion for it. So it was really neat to be with like bloggers who have tried all these different things and we could talk about things and it was just so like, I w like why can't every day be IMATS, you know? I just had such a great time and I will definitely be going to one in the future. I will for sure be the, at the one in LA in January. So if you'd like to see me there, I would love to meet you. And I think that's pretty much it. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Hopefully this vlog wasn't boring. Um, it's been kind of difficult to figure out how to format this, so hopefully this works. And I will see you guys in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be yourself. See ya, bye.